Homies on mess. What's the deal? What's happening? What's happening? What's going on? Uh, Chilling Trilogy number three, right? Two, three, a number. Three short horror games for Spooktober. Spook, wow. Spooktober. Calm down, bro. I ain't even had pre-workout yet. Anyway, let's do this. Yeah, I put it right. What? Oh, oh goddamn! Oh! Have you shown yourself to the children? Oh, you can change the wording of that, bro. There's an orb. There's an orb. That's wild, bro. December 11th, 1994. I was four years old. My brother Ethan is missing for around 24 hours. He went on a hiking trip near the Red Mountain. He should have come home yesterday. I went to the local police. And they said they don't have, excuse me, the resources for a search right now. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. Family. Is this snow? Or is it dandruff? And why is it happening in the car? This is fucking mesothelioma. I should park at the gas station to ask if they saw my brother. Ain't nobody seen your brother? At least she has a flashlight. Anybody see my goddamn brother? He about yay tall. Looks sort of retarded. And it black. Look like he up to no good. Not me, but like, he look like me, but like not like me. Let me add this fool. Excuse me, sir. Ugh, rude nigga. Hey. I'm searching for my brother. He went missing while hiking in this area. Uh, sorry to offend you, pal, but it's not my problem. Also, you shouldn't just randomly approach people like this. Especially in this area. What do you mean? Hey, look, man. I work pretty late. I just want to grab some snacks and beers and drive home. Well, sir, that's drinking and driving, so I don't know. Why your face shaped like that? Pointy chin? I'm not in the mood to talk with people. I don't know. I understand. Sorry for bothering you. Bitch. That's why your wife cheating with a black dude, nigga. A rude ass motherfucker. Hey, how you doing, sir? Fine, young strapping gentleman. What can I do for you, sir? I'm searching for my brother. He was hiking around this area. He should have come home yesterday. Have you seen him? How does your brother look like? He has brown hair and he's pretty tall. He also has a green backpack. And if you happen to look down a little bit, he has a really big schlong. It's, 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 it's easy to see. It's not hard to miss. It's, I'm envious of it. Mother said it was a birth defect, but I don't think so. I think he was just gifted. Let me think for a second. Hmm, yes. I think I saw your brother. He came in here and bought a few things. Some water and a few snackies. You trying to find them? Have you talked to the police already? Yes, I did, in fact. But they said they don't have the resources for a search right now. Go figure. I said they only start a search if a person is missing for more than 48 hours. Uh, it isn't the first time someone went missing in this area. At least a handful of people went missing there in the last decade. People talk a lot. I've heard rumors that there are strange screams and weird noises coming from the woods. So you should be careful, especially going there at this time of night. There's a road right behind the gas station leading to the mountain. Make sure to stay on it. There could be dangerous wildlife in that air. Thanks. I'll make sure to stay safe. Take care. Oh shit, I got a Beamer, goddamn. Got that 325. 
I got a 325 I. That's insane. Damn, they got a little money on my hand. Shit. What's this? What's this nigga name? Ethan? Ethan. Ethan! 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 E uh, what's this? Ethan? Why is there a fucking random ass light? My brother's tent looks entirely different. I should still take a closer look. Didn't he say stay on the trail? Ethan? Yo, Eth! Yo, big dog! Oh! Whoa, whoa, who the fuck are you? You scared the shit out of me, nigga. <sighs> okay. I scared you. I almost had a heart attack myself, bitch. What the fuck are you doing? What you want? I hope not some kind of pervert or creep. I'm not. I'm just fucking just searching for my brother. He was hiking in this area. Have you seen him? Nope. I ain't seen him. Wait. You don't even know what he looks like. Look, man, I'm just some guy that likes to hike in the woods and sleep in a tent in freezing conditions. I haven't seen anyone in days. I understand. You're planning to go deeper in the forest? Yep. Search around the area. Hope I can find my brother or at least traces of him. Look, you probably think I'm a stoner or something, but uh, last night I had my tit a bit up north. And I heard weird noises coming from the woods. Like, two rabbit skunks fucking. It sounded like a child was crying, but I didn't see anything. It creeped me out. Maybe it was a cryptid. What? Look, man, do you carry? I mean,. I am blessed a little bit. Cool six and a half inches. What, I mean, what do you mean? I'm talking about a piece, you know? Something for protection. You mean a gun? No, I don't, I don't, I don't do that. I don't believe in guns. You shouldn't be here in the first place. It's way too dangerous uh, to go deeper in the forest at night. But I'm not going to stop you. I just want to sleep now. Also, one last thing. Don't creep up on a tit in the woods at night ever again. I almost would have shot you. Well, guess I'm glad you did. Me too. Good luck with the search. He didn't even say how far up he was. To hear the damn screams or cries or whatever the fuck he heard. Heard something, huh? Over the hill. Okay. It's getting really cold. I should set up my tent. On the left side of the road, you have a tent. When did you pick up your tent? We 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 didn't go into the trunk. We didn't pick up a backpack, bro. This this guy just pulling tents out of his ass and shit. Unless we gotta go to like a certain spot. Okay, okay. My fingers are pretty numb. It's hard to build the tent. You better fucking hurry. Lay in that bit and be still. Barely breathe so nothing can hear you. Ah, damn. This man got a goddamn... He got one of them academy tents. For fucking $350, man. Gee. At this point, I'm in here and I'm not going nowhere. I don't care what the fuck I heard or I hear. I ain't got no protection. We're not going nowhere. I'm in a fetal position all night. I don't hear shit. I think I heard someone scream. Not sure if that was real or imagined. I need to check. Could be my brother screaming for help, Nick. What's that one horror movie where the chick's sister goes to the suicide forest and she gets lost, but she insists on staying the night and everything goes wrong? Every every little noise, every little slight indi indication that her sister's there, she just beeline straight to that. Like everything else 
does not matter. She's just focused in on that. All logic is out the fucking window. That's what this dude is right here. I guess we're coming out of the tent. Bethan! Wait, what did it say? There's a light deeper in the woods. I need to see that could be my brother. Where's the light? I don't see no light. Which way? Is it this one? I see something. I don't think that's it, though. Ethan! Brother! Of course. Of course. Of course the fucking light would do that shit. The one thing that was giving me hope, peace, and security, and comfort was the fucking flashlight. Now it's about to go out. That's my brother's backpack. He must have been here. Wasn't here. Weird. The backpack was completely empty. Nothing in here. So take it. Then This is weird, bro. The fact that this house is just here. Nothing in front. Like, nothing in front. Nothing on the side. Nothing around. How dare you, good sir? Ethan! Every time I do this shit, I always get goosebumps. Goosebumps just went from here to my toes. Ethan! I'm being stupid because there's nothing behind. Like, I. Anyway, let's go. Ethan! Sir! Bruh! Whoa. Oh. Okay. You don't fucking come behind me. There's a there's a pack uh secret passage somewhere that uh <laughs> No, this house is way fucking bigger. There's something right here. A fan? Oh, shit, I'm tripping. Wood grind slipping. She, you know what I'm talking about? She hit that boy. I guess ain't nothing here. Nigga, is that a tongue? What the hell? Someone made pictures of my tent and my car. That's crazy. That is insane. Not gonna lie, afraid to turn around. It's gonna be a fucking jump scare. Is that a fucking piece of meat? Tongue? I don't know what that is. Come on. Let go. God damn. Fuck this bullshit. Oh my god. <laughs> this is never found. Interesting. Uh, very predictable for that jump scare. Gimsel. I think I was spoiled with Mimic Search. Mimic Search was so good. Uh, Missing Hiker. For a short horror game, it was it was decent. It was decent. Give it a 5 out of a 10. I'm going to calm down and get the goosebumps off my nuts. <laughs> On to the next one. February 18th, 1987. First day at the new section. I hope everything goes well. Whoa. Uh, the Matrix, anyone? Hello? Fucking three seconds in and already getting jump scared and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why? There's lights. Ah, oh, fuck. That means the lights are going to go out eventually. Um, I'm not going to lie. If I made a horror game, five seconds in, jump scare. <laughs> like, lights would go out and shit would just go left instantly. Guys, I don't know what to do. Oh. All I had to do was put the goddamn mop down. That's what I had to do. Hello? What kind of goddamn toilet is that? A toilet for the 1950s? Hi. Guys, the door's gonna shut. 
You're gonna shoot? Breaker, tin breaker. Copy. Email. Uh, subject receive. Matt onboarding. What's this? This is an automatic email. Do not reply. Description of entity 14. Highly dangerous of terrestrial origin. Wait. Yeah, terrestrial origin. Bipedal, uncanny human like appearance. Skin doesn't reflect light. Glowing red eyes. Body mass consists mostly of human meat. Develops more human like appearance over time. Doesn't kill prey before eating. Eats you alive. Uh, extremely agile. Can jump far distances. Incident uh, 4884. Total power failure. Resulting in E14 escaping the room and killing the operator. Redacted. Interesting. Two years later was redacted. Interesting. Disclaimer. By partaking in this operation, you agree that the Entity Research Facility, also known as ERF, will not be held responsible for any form of physical harm. <laughs> Bitch. They said you're fucking on your own. Uh, my name is Matt. Hi, Matt. I was assigned to take care of onboarding for you. So your job is actually pretty easy. The entity needs to be fed once a day with exactly one prisoner to do that. Just open the door. R1N through your computer. After it is eaten, the respective room needs to be cleaned. Open the door. R1 out through your computer. You'll need a strong stomach, but you get used to it. First, throw body parts, if there are any left, into the container. Then clean the blood with the mop. Best regards, Matt. Click on a room. Oh, he's in room one. Interesting. Why are you just looking at the wall, bro? Okay, so I got to clean that, I guess. Room three. Oh, these are the prisoners that I got to feed to them. We're not doing that again. Okay. So, how do we do this? So... check because fuck that <laughs> something's gonna go wrong and one of these doors is not gonna shut or I don't know I don't know let's go clean I get stuck in here, bro. That's why we can pick up a mop. I should have moved the body parts. Oh! Put it down. Or, oh, you know what? We're going to lose power while the doors are open. That's what's going to happen. Because he said uh, total system failure. That's the power pine saw, baby. I'm 
Okay. <sighs> Email. Good job. Oh, we're Matt. Hey, good job. Looks like you're a natural. Uh, have you checked the CCTV? Nowadays, they have. They even have a night vision mode. Pretty heckin' cool, if you ask me. Oh, by the way, in case you were wondering, while the entity is eating, the CCTV is taken offline. Uh, we don't want our operators to be disturbed. Anyway, you're done for the day. You can go to sleep already, if you want. Tomorrow will be pretty similar. Uh, feed the entity, clean the room, rinse and repeat. Counter guards. Matt. Oh, wait, no, 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 we're not Matt. I'm stupid. Turn on my damn flashlight. We're gonna wake up and the power's gonna be off. And the doors are gonna be open. Guaranteed. I should turn off the lights first. Why? No! Oh, it's actually not that dark in here. I'm not sleeping in this bitch. Night. Yep. Power's off. <whistles> or that was just um alarm to tell me to wake up. Did I call her or did I call it? Good morning. You probably saw that the lights aren't working. Don't worry. It's basic maintenance on one of our electrical generators. It's just the lights. Everything will still work fine. Wait, everything else still works fine. Just use your flashlight. Today will be pretty similar to yesterday. Press the button R1, R2 in. Open the door to so the entity can have its feast with the prisoner in room two. Uh, the entity wants a breakfast. Don't let it wait. Yes, don't forget to clean the room afterwards. Kind of guards Matt. Okay, is there like a specific order I have to go in? I guess let's 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 do it. I guess because he said don't keep him waiting. So That man is efficient. Let's go ahead. That's why they gave us the option for the flashlight in the fucking very beginning. <laughs> Nigga, my nuts went into my stomach just there. You gonna do it again? Take no chances, bro. Jeez. We got email. Great work. Okay. Hey, good job again, dude. <laughs> you really are natural. I know hearing those screams can have a negative effect on your psyche, but trust me, those people were feeding to the ends of your scum. They did unspeakable, highly immoral things to other people. They should be happy that they are allowed to contribute to this experiment. The fucking morality. Like, you're really trying to convince yourself you're doing something good. We sometimes jokingly call them organ donors. Anyway, our research on Entity 114 uh, could lead to breakthroughs, not just for military, but also medical purposes. Always keep that in mind when you're doing your work. Yes, you're done for the day. Counter guards, man. Let's go to sleep.
Get your bitch ass up. Get your ass out of bed, nigga. Day three. Uh, not that exciting now, is it? Usually, that's the point where your work is becoming a boring routine. Hold on. Calm down. Anyway, you probably know what to do. Feed the entity, clean the room, uh, take a shit, bust it, go to sleep. <laughs> Just, okay. <laughs> That's the shit I would say. It's important to have a sense of humor working in an environment like this. Anyway, tomorrow a new batch of prisoners will arrive. Fresh meat. Don't worry, they're handcuffed. And our guards will bring them into their rooms. Just make sure those rooms are clean. We don't want them to be uncomfortable. Oh, now you care about them. The entity room camera works again. Interesting. You care about them now. Still no lights though. What door opened? <laughs> Mouse, it don't work no more. Can I email Matt back and be like, Matt, uh, I need some assistance, sir. So there is a fourth room. This one right here. Uh, there's no doors to it, I don't think. Mm. He's gonna get out. I know he's gonna get out some 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 way somehow. Let's let's fucking do this. I mean, technically speaking, he shouldn't look that scary, though, right? Because he's uh, human-like. Alrighty. It's the bomb baby. Oh, shit, what the fuck? It's the bomb baby. The bomb baby. <laughs> this nigga gonna bust out his room, dog. I'm telling you. That's what's gonna happen. Ooh, nigga, all in my face. Damn. I got to. I'm tripping. I ain't gonna lie, I'm scared. Power is gonna come on, and the fucking door is gonna open, or he's just gonna bust through the door. Because for some reason, as he eats people, he gets stronger. Opposite of the Hulk. <sighs> I'm ready for the jump scare, baby. Wow, the whole head. He didn't even devour the head, bro. What the fuck? And last but not least. No email from Matt. Guess let's go to sleep then. The doors are going to be open. What do wait, what doors opened though? Or was he just dreaming? Morning. Read the oh god damn. You were fed to the entity. That jump scare could have been better. Um, Gimsel. I think I'm going downhill <laughs> as far as like the quality of the game. Uh, storyline is pretty cool. I love. I I like that. I had shit to do. Jump scares could have been a little better. A little bit better. Next. It was Thursday, November sixteenth. I was working late. I drove home. Apparently on this one, I think we're just driving. Some shit's gonna happen. Oh, we can actually look in the back seat. That's crazy. Nope.
That's wild. When I was in Joshua Tree uh, with my girlfriend on a vacation, I did that because we stayed like way the fuck out there. We were in a desert. Uh, it took like from the town we were staying in, it took like 15 minutes to get to the house. And this house was like on a road, that road that turned to a dirt road, that turned to like a sand road. There was no lights out there at all. Like, at nothing. And one time we were coming back into town and I was just curious. So I stopped in the middle of the road, the sand road. And did that. Nigga, when I tell you nothing, like, if you got stranded out there, and your car battery died and you had no flashlight, you're fucked. All right, cool. Team Gaslight. I was Team Gaslight for a long time. It was just mind blowing how dark it was out there. That nigga, why? Why is there a fence right there? Great. 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 E. Do I have a flashlight at least? Even though my car is like 90% on the road. I do have a flashlight. I'll pass something right here. I tried using my phone, but it didn't get any signal. Of course. Oh, shit. We ain't a goddamn Benz. Hey, okay. I decided to follow the road until I found a gas station or something. You better lock your doors, bro. You gonna come back and this bin's gonna be gone. God damn it. Why is it when I hit... Wait. Why is it when I hit shift, I slow down? God damn, hillbilly red gonna steal the car. You move laterally very good. Can't run, by the way. You can just slow walk. There was a fence behind us. I don't I don't know if that's any of importance. Sometime today, Junior. Oh, what's this? I see something. Maybe that was a house we passed. He said a gas station or something. I saw a house. I decided to go there and ask for help. I mean, depending on how uh, late it is, I mean, somebody could be home. I knocked on the door, but no one answered. Hmm. I'm black. That's not a good thing. This is a shoot on sight type of thing. <laughs> I saw a back door, which was open. Really weird. Yeah, because this house is big as fuck. <laughs> Thought maybe I could find a telephone to call for help. Nick, you gonna get in here and goddamn get chopped up and eaten? She. Hello? Anyone home? My car got uh, broken down. I just need a little help of help. Just a little help of hell. Fortunately, it didn't work. Okay. Well, you know what? I think that is a sign for me to go. Thought maybe the house could have some fuel in the garage. Now you're doing too much. The garage is right there, too. Hold on. Is there an outside door to the garage? My look, no. Yeah, no, it doesn't. <sighs> We're going to have to go through the house. We're going to get fucking eaten. Because this nigga wants to be a fucking uh, goober, goober, goober head. Hello? I just need a key. And I'll be on my... 
my way. Okay, that was me. Okay, good. <sighs> Hold on, breathe for a second, bro. <laughs> I'm barely breathing. <laughs> I am barely breathing right now, bro. I am scared. Okay, let's uh let's do this shit. It wasn't all right, that's a bathroom. I doubt if a key's in here. But you never know. People are weird. <sighs> Close that door. Hey y'all, I just need a key, man. Like, I just need some gas. Then I'm on. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to go get some ass. She, my wife waiting on me. She, you know what I'm talking about? Hit it, boy. I guess let's get got since we're about to fucking die and shit. Oh, fuck. I couldn't move. Do, 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 do. Key right here. You couldn't just open. Whoa! My heart sank as I opened the garage. That's fine, nigga. This is this is nigga is in pieces. This nigga is in pieces. But I found gas. I started running like a madman. You're you're not running though. I swear I felt like something was following me. I'm not turning around though. Once I get to the safety of my car, I'll refuel it and then drive away. I'm not turning around though. Because I feel like it's a setup. You know, watch fucking Country Bob stole my car and shit. Here it is. We're going to refuel. He's going to be right there. Give me. Now I can finally drive away. Let's go. Oh my god! Gimsel, driving home, solid. Six. The other two. Mimic search, the fucking 10, bro. I love that game. Anyway, that's that. I need to go cool off because we got more videos to record and I'm, I'm on edge right now. Hope you enjoyed this video, man. Chilling Trilogy number three. I think it's number three. It should be number three. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Spooktober. <sighs> 31 days of Halloween. Until next time.